one of our first callers, and then we're going to come back, inshallah. In the meantime, guys, please, we're looking for one person to get a thousand pounds. Let's go, inshallah. Hello, uh, salam alaikum, or hello, brother. How you guys doing? Thanks for having me. Thank you very much. We are good. How are you doing? Where are you calling from? America? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm um, from the West Coast. That's yeah. good. Uh, that's good. What's your name? Avery. My name's Avery. Yeah. A Avery. Yes. Yeah. How you doing, Avery? Thanks for joining. Uh, please yeah, tell we, us. We, we, we were supplicating actually to your country. May Allah make it a Muslim country. <laughs> no, 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 I don't wish that. But you know, no, we wish that. We, we are asking Allah in this night to make your country a Muslim country. And okay. Okay. Anyways, yeah. Uh, so yeah, what do we have? A, do you have a question for us? And by the way, we've got some donations coming in. I'll, I'll give updates later. Yes, you have a question. Yeah, sure. So um, <clears throat> there's a there's a large topic that I like to <coughs> go over, obviously, with more knowledgeable people. Um, it's the subject of, you know, Jesus being a Muslim. Obviously, as a Christian, like, you know, we wouldn't we wouldn't think that that was like that's far from us. And so when we get in these conversations and Muslims like, oh, yeah, you know, Jesus was a Muslim and stuff like that. So I was hoping maybe you guys can touch on this and we could have a, a good back and yeah. forth on this. But okay, is, I don't know is about he Christian, by the way. He's a Christian. I don't know yeah, about yeah. Is yeah. Jesus Christian? There's a question. No, nah, he's not the a Christian. Christian. So Jesus is not Christian, yeah? No. Nah. So then what he is? He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's, he's a Jew, he's an Israelite. Israelite. So yeah. and did he submit his will to the will of God? Uh I would say yes. So that's the meaning of Islam. Anyone who submit his will to the will of God is a Muslim. That's the meaning of Islam. Meaning okay. of Islam, the one who submit their will to the will of God, those are this is he's a Muslim. Yeah, that's 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 that's, so that's, that's, our, def that's our definition of what entails a Muslim. Uh, so that's why we say when he's a Muslim, mm. this is what we mean. So when yeah. we say he's Muslim, we say he submits because he said this in the uh, in the in the Bible. You know, uh, mm. I do not uh, see my will, but the will of my Father. So we claim that those statements are the statements of a Muslim. That's why we say. Yeah. He's a Muslim. We have okay. Platform. So, so the. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So I and this is the definition that I usually get, right? That the meaning of a Muslim one who submits their will to God. Um, but so, I, but I think that there it's it's a little bit more than that because, like for example, if I were to say, "Hey guys, I submit my will to God, but my God is a statue." You guys wouldn't say that I'm a Muslim, right? Yeah, which God? You are no, talking about which not. God? Yeah, because you're not Muslim. exactly right. Right. So there, there's a specific. It basically has to be the true God. There's a specific concept yeah. of God that you have to submit to and believe in in order to be a Muslim. We we would agree, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Right. So this this is where we're like I like to explore things. Like so, like right, you know, the God of Islam, he doesn't beget nor is he begotten. Um, he's yeah. absolutely singular in his essence, right? He, you know, Tawheed, yeah. he's not a trinity, things, stuff like this. These are essential identifiers of who you say God is as a Muslim, right? And so yeah. Yeah. When, when you go to the Bible, like, do you, I, I don't think that you see Jesus believing in that concept of God that hasn't, that is not a father, has no sons, you know, things of this nature. I think it's a little different. Does he know, does he know, where, in the, where in the Bible, uh, does Jesus does the Jesus does Jesus supplicate to the Holy Spirit? Does he call up to the Holy Spirit? Well, it's, it's not not necessarily we see him supplicating to the Holy Spirit, but there is a communication there. Okay, so who does he supplicate when he goes to the mountain of Gethsemane? For example, when he prostrates he, he, he or when prostrate. he's on the cross. Mm -hmm. To who? Uh, to his father. Okay, good. So when he's on the cross, uh, mm -hmm. when he's calling out for Whatever it is for that matter. Ilahi, ilahi yeah. Lima yeah. Who is he? Right. Who is he, who is he calling he, out? Who is he speaking to? to? To his father. Okay, so in Acts two, chapter two, uh, twenty-two, when it says mm. Jesus of Nazareth, a man yeah. chosen by God, with mm. with wonders, miracles, and signs which God did by him, and he's mm. a witness. Now, when mm. we just an analyze it from an outside perspective, for example, when he went to the mountain of Gethsemane, he prostrates. Uh, mm. When a, a person comes to him and says to him, "Oh, good master, what must I do?" He says, "There is only one good, and that's God alone." So we will say that that is, if somebody came to me and said, "Ali, you are the all-knowing," I said, "Don't say that to me. Allah is the all-knowing." If you mm. if they saw me prostrating in the mountain and prostrating, they say, "Oh, it's prostrating to God." So these things will make us be like, "Hold on a second. There's this person who's always glorifying someone bigger than him." So we say that's the characteristics of a Muslim. So mm. not only does he say it, but we judge by the actions. Which is it follows to be a Muslim. That's why we deem him to be a Muslim. And, From right. our perspective, anyway. And, and, yes. Yeah. And, 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 also, 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 and adding, also, and adding to this, since you said he's Israelite, he is a Jew. 
Mm. The Jews believe, and the, uh, for example, the background that they came from, they believe in the one God, for example. At that time, they believe this God, this God is, no, is not similar to his creation. God is not a flesh, according to the Old Testament. According, God is not a flesh. God is not a body, etc. And then suddenly, that you're making God into a flesh. And then suddenly, all of these things, you know. And actually, th there is another another problem in the Bible, which is when, when Jesus said, the only true God is the Father. What does he mean by this? Oh, if he yeah, said yeah. the only true God is the Father, what mm. about him? But before you just yeah. answer that, um, uh, what was your name? Av Avery. 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 Avery, before you just answer, I just want to give a quick update just on the up uh, donation. Just give me just one minute, yeah? Yep, so, right, guys, yeah. we just had a donation of Zishan, 50 pounds, 10 pounds, 100 pounds from Anonymous, Asim Al Hayali, 50 pounds, 10 pounds. Oh, sorry, what was it? I mean, I mean, yeah. Also, I mean, Al Hayali. Hayali. Yeah. So, guys, alhamdulillah, I'm just going to write make dua for uh, Zishan mm -hmm. here. Uh, SubhanAllah, there we go, guys. Uh, which is writing the names of the donors, some of the keep, donors. Keep the donations coming, donations guys. are coming in, guys. Please carry on, inshallah. We're having a discussion with, yes, a, Musa, uh, so with a Christian. Uh, he seems polite, he seems reasonable. We're just having a little dialogue. Yeah. Uh, obviously, in Ramadan, we try not to get into this, but he seems reasonable. We're just going to try to continue and see where we can come to a common understanding. Yes, Musa, Musa. But please carry on with the donation, guys. Yes, uh, Avery was going to say something. Yes, sure. yes, yes, yes. So, uh, I don't want to be too long with it. There's, there's a lot said. I'll try to be as succinct as I can so I could get like. Your, your responses oh. so just starting with with uh you ali um when you're you you guys quoted you know these verses where jesus is praying to the father right that he's submitting his will to the father um and you're saying that these you know shows that he's you know pointing glorifying the father giving that type of adoration to the father yeah and so and i agree with all of these verses i totally agree if we're like taking taking the deity of christ out i don't think that you need the deity of Christ, like whether he's God or not, in order to have this discussion of him being a Muslim. Like it, it, let's let's just if I were to eliminate that just about yeah. what he believed and what he taught, we can see if he was a Muslim or not, you know. And so if he's yeah. saying that, yes, he's he's praying to his father. He was sent by his father. And he's the son of God in all of these verses. <clears throat> would would and you're saying that in these verses, it shows that he's a Muslim. My question would be then. So if these verses are showing that he's a Muslim, would you then say that Allah is his father then since he's prostrating to his father? He's, you know, praying to his father. Is Allah yeah, his father? The, the, yeah. The wording used in the Bible is a father. But what we mm. say is that we do not believe uh, uh, God, Allah is our uh, Ab, he is our Rab. Uh, so what we say is we don't refer to him as the father. So that mm. uh, phraseology that's used in the Bible, we know, for example, when in the Bible it talks about the sons of God. We know it doesn't mean literal sons. Like he mm -hmm. says, Elijah is my firstborn. Israel. So we know That's what it means by sons. It's basically righteous people, slaves. righteous individuals, whatever slaves it is for that matter. God. So just as we don't take the son as literal, neither would we take the father as literal. I mean, I think you would yeah. say that's fair, right? And, that, and, and, that, and that's, see, see, this is where this is, this also opens this up a bit. Because yes, I hear everything you're saying. It's not in a literal sense, but maybe in some spiritual or metaphorical sense that God has this father-son relationship with his prophets or Israel or believers, stuff like that, right? But this is something that, as you, as you said, Allah is your rub, your Lord, not your up, right? And he makes it so clear that in no way, shape, or form is he a father in any sense, whether it's literal, figurative, spiritual, it doesn't matter. He says yeah. he's only your Lord. He's only your master and you're only you yeah. know, servants or slaves. Right. So. Yeah. So regardless of how like Jesus meant it, let's say like let's grant that he's meaning it in a metaphorical sense. It still goes against Islam, doesn't it? If he's saying he's the son of God and God is his father, even yeah, in a metaphor. Yeah. Sense. I think I think there's a fundamental issue with the understanding here, which is okay. when we discuss with Christians like you, um, we use your own source to explain to you how the divinity of Jesus Christ is problematic from your own sources, right? Mm. That doesn't mean that we believe word for word mm. in the current modern day Bible. We don't. So for example, okay. simply speaking, uh, from our belief, we would not believe that Allah uh, spoke with his prophets in that way, that I'm your father. We don't believe that that happened in the first place. Mm. However, we use these verses to show you that no, look, you are saying that Christ is divine so why is he praying? Why is he doing this in your book, in your references? Mm. So that, that's the point here. That's the point. That's the reason why we refer to that. Because obviously, as we know, I'm sure you're aware of this because you're involved in polemics. 
that the Bible has its own issues, and we agree with the we 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 know that these issues exist. You know, Bruce Metzger, who was one of the you know scholars in charge of the compilation of one of the uh, Greek New Testaments, was mentioning how you know no two are alike. You know, in terms of the manuscript traditions, etc. You have all of these. You have the earliest. We have the earliest New Testament going back to the fourth century, which is hundreds of years after Jesus Christ. So we have uncontrolled transmission of the Bible. We have all of these issues with the Bible. We have early church fathers differing over what the canon is, what is actually classed as scripture. So these are all issues that the Christians have to solve. For us, these are not issues. For us, our primary sources in Islam are not the Bible or the Injil. Our primary source for our referencing is the Quran, the Sunnah, the Ahadith of the Prophet Muhammad so simply speaking, if Allah says something to us in the Quran that, for example, Jesus said X, Y, and Z, and then a Christian comes to us like you are right now and says, well, Jesus didn't say that in the Bible. Well, we would say we don't need Jesus to say that in the Bible because we have our primary sources telling that and your Bible has problems as a source, as a primary source. Do okay. You see what, do you see where coming from? I, I understand your perspective. So yeah. I, I, obviously, I would, I dis, I have my disagreements, but I, I want to make it clear that you know I'm not coming from an angle of Jesus is God, therefore he's not a Muslim. Like I'm, I'm granting that. Let's let's yeah. take, like I said, right. Let's take the deity of Christ out. I don't think that the the deity of Christ is a subject that is necessary to determine. If we can find out if Jesus, by what he taught and believed, is a Muslim or not, yes, right. We can just. But talk you're about using that. your. The, the issue is uh, Avery that you're using the yardstick for our conversation, the scripture that you're using as a foundational basis for our conversation. You're using the Bible. Well, well I'm wait, no. to you, we yeah, only yeah, refer to the Bible for you. We don't refer to it okay. because we believe yeah. in. You know, we don't have a problem with saying that. Mm. Jesus, if someone came to me, if a Christian came to me and said, okay, do you believe that Jesus said, hero Israel, the Lord our God is one God, one God, etc. I would say, mm. I don't have a problem believing that Jesus said that. I don't have mm. a problem. Actually, I can believe that he did say that. Yes. Uh -huh. Because that's affirmed in the Quran, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and he has used the term Ahad, by the way. <laughs> Even in the Old Testament, Ahad is a unique Semitic term, yeah. which means one and unique one and only let's yeah? see let's see what he has to say so yeah. that, that's the that, uh, the term ahad which was used by moses which was used by jesus and it is ahad in in, in hebrew yeah. and it is the same term was used in arabic language in yeah. quran Qul huwa ahad. say allah is ahad mm, yeah. ahad means it's not just one there yeah. is two one and unique there is mm. no second there is no third that's yeah. what okay let's just hear avery's let's, point let's inshallah say, let's hear his perspective yeah. yeah thank you guys so um like so, remember, like as you said, I, I wasn't the one who based this conversation off of the Bible. Like I, I wasn't the one that brought up the Bible. It was a couple of references, you know, that Ali mentioned, and um, um, I don't know the brother's name who was just talking, uh, but but you know, he he also quoted some Bible verses that point to Jesus being a Muslim. So I'm coming from the verses that was quoted, you know, to me. I I didn't I didn't go to the yeah. to the Bible, yeah, but this this what I. Yeah. yeah, this is what I would ask. This is what I would ask. Could we at least then sure. say um, that according to these, like these usual famous verses, Jesus prostrating to the Father, Jesus yes. saying that he submits his will to the Father. Um, yes. yes, they and, show and submission. Way, and just to, no, I'm not interrupting your point. Just to mention here, we have no problem believing that these things actually happen because they're in line with our beliefs about Jesus. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So, so uh, the, the submission would be in line, right, right, with your belief, except. The theology mm -hmm. behind his submission because he's submitting to what he is saying to be his father. So yeah. would you yeah, could because, we, could because, we say that at least according to these verses, that if we were to take these verses as they are, at least according to these verses, Jesus isn't a Muslim theologically. By the way, by the way, but, by the way, I just wanted to mention something. Yeah. Uh again, as Brother Musa Musa said just a minute ago, we are not taking the Bible as a primary source for us. Our primary source is the Quran. The Quran affirms that Jesus, peace be upon him, is Muslim, affirm yeah. that he is a prophet sent by God, affirm about his miraculous birth, affirm about this. Those are these are our primary sources. So when we are when we hear, for example, in other new sources that he prostrate to God, he did this, is actually affirm to the same concept that we are using, we are we are using as, as a primary source. Even though, regardless, if you found the Bible, 
even if we never read the Bible, it's still for us, the primary source is the Quran, which is because the, the, the original Bible, the original gospel is already lost. There is nothing out of there. It's not there. So for us, the primary source is the Quran. And the Quran affirmed to us, Jesus is a Muslim, affirmed to us he's a prophet sent by God, affirmed to us all of the information we know about him. That's all. And that's this our this is our primary source. So when we say we're Muslim, we're yeah. using our own primary source to, 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 to say this. Secondly, what is what the information that is written in your scripture, it affirms what we have. Do you understand so, these sorry, things? Sorry, because um, you know, I I think you do understand. Are you are you still there, yeah? Yeah, I'm here. Because we we can't see you, that's why because of the, oh, what the guy the producers over there. So we can't the, see the you. screen the screen is we're, there. We're, we're looking at the camera. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I see. we can't we can't see anything that you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. So, so, so basically, um, yeah, the, the point I was going to make is that, so for example, from our perspective, yes, you're right. So the wording in the theology. So it's not, it's, it's less the theology, it's the wording. So for example, mm. for us, the father, we don't believe one of Allah's names that we have been informed of is the father. Right. We, that's not one of the names that we've been informed of. So we don't affirm that. However, we don't have any other problem with the submission part of things, etc. Now, if a Muslim right. came or a Christian came and asked me, okay, so um, you don't have a problem with believing. And I feel like maybe this is what you're asking. You don't have a problem with believing that Jesus submitted, etc. But why do you have a problem with believing that he called him the father? I would say because that's not fundamentally in line with our primary sources. In Arabic, right. we say our mi'yar. It's this not in line with the way in which we see it. And, yeah. and then if a person asks the question, okay, then why why is this happening? I'd say, well, with the history of the New Testament, with the history of the Bible, mm -hmm. we find this. I mean, Bart Ehrman, in his book titled Misquoting Jesus, he brings passages like passages from Codex <coughs> Sinaiticus, yeah. one of the oldest <coughs> manuscripts of mm -hmm. the Bible, yeah. of the New Testament. Yeah. And literally passages where people have come, rubbed out a word, added a word, and then someone else has come, replaced the word and said, yeah. Fool and knave, don't change and, the scripture. And, and not only so, that, not only that, just touch upon the one point is that when he says the father, we believe that let's suppose that Jesus actually done this. And he was like, for example, he submitted and he says, Who? He said, My father. We know in that wording, he's talking about God, not his father. Just as just as way example I give about the sons of God. Yes. It does not mean the son, the begotten son. For example, there's a verse in the Bible that says, Jesus is the begotten son. And yeah. the Christians come and say, Well, no, we don't mean begotten in that way. Oh, we mean it in this way. I mean, we have so, this in the Islamic tradition where, exactly. for example, we have statements of the companions saying, Kunu abna al -akhira, Be children of the Akhirah. Yeah. That doesn't mean yeah. your children of the afterlife, right? right? Yeah. Uh, Etc. Yeah, so, does that make sense? It doesn't mean your children. It means be people of the afterlife. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah like, like I said, I, I understand that it's not in a literal sense, right? It's not, yeah. In yeah. Any, but it, it's with the, with the Quran, it's not in any sense. Whether it's metaphorical, a spiritual, in no sense is it ever applied to Allah that He is a Father at all in any way, shape, or form. This is this is my thing. You, so you you touched on something uh, important, um, my brother. I, I don't know your name. What's what's your name? The one sitting there. Musa. 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 Say that again. Musa. 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 Nice yeah. to meet you. Moses. Uh, Moses. It's Arabic for Moses. Yeah, Moses. Moses. Got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. So Musa. Yeah. So you you said something important that you know. The, the reason why we have in this room, in this room, we have yeah. Musa, we have Dawood, David, David. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you see, uh, we have Muhammad, we have, yeah. we have, you know, good names. Yeah. We didn't have Isa yet, but yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, 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 go ahead, go for it. Yeah. So, so you said something that I that I liked that that is the point of why I'm bringing this this issue here is that you said, yeah. yes, in the in these New Testament passages that you guys are referring to, you can yes. agree that. You know, Jesus submitted and prostrated and things of this nature because those particular things line up with Islam. However, mm -hmm. when those verses, when those same verses also say that he's submitting to or prostrating to the Father, you negate that part because it doesn't line up with Islam. And that's, that's my that's point. That's my, no, my, not just that. my point is, is hold on, let me just see if I can complete this. Let me finish that. Let me finish that. Not just that. Not just that. No, you were quoting us. Not just that. Wait, just let, let me lay my point, please, if I can, brother. Yeah, yeah, there's two things. I just want to point in this. Not just because they're not in line of the Quran. And as well, there are no historical evidences that he has said what he has said. Yeah. That's another problem. I mean, yeah, I mean. Okay, yeah. so let, all right. So regardless, 
if let's yeah. say like because you guys are saying that these things are now are unreliable that's what you guys have been pushing for i, I, I just want to see where you're going with this yeah, where yeah. You going with so this? so my my thing is is that okay mm -hmm. so in these verses yes he submits yes he prostrates and prays to the father yeah. though so yeah. these that's the part that you have to take away because it doesn't agree with and line up with islam which is my point if you go to the new, yeah, yeah. So by the New Testament, if we just look at the New Testament for what it is, the mm -hmm. Jesus that's portrayed in the New Testament, can we agree that that Jesus is not a Muslim based off those verses? That he's no, but no, uh, okay. no, for example, see, the question uh, is this, listen, 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 the question listen, is listen, this, listen, listen, this. If in Islam, somebody, uh, Sheikh, if somebody believes in Allah, yeah, in every single attribute, but decided to call Allah Father, is he disbelieving in Allah? If he says, I believe in Allah, yeah. everything is Tawheed, his oneness, his Asma, his everything. But I'm gonna call him father. Does no. that commit shirk? Does it, does it no, come shirk? This is not the term that Allah has used. Allah okay, he has it. But does it make him a non-Muslim? One, one second, one second. But it's that's, very that's, important. That's, okay. It's, in, it's innovation, yeah. wouldn't it be? Yeah, it's innovation. Yeah, but, so but, but okay, it's innovation, innovation, but it does not make him a disbeliever. This, this, yeah, it doesn't make the point is yeah, what, what, point. I, what, what I wanted to say that they used to the Arabs used to say, even the Jews used to say call themselves Iyalullah. What does that the mean? The children of God. Yeah. Oh, okay. Iyal, that means abna. And there is two terms. And, and unfortunately, English is poor language. So the Latin language, which is the translation of it, is poor language. But Hebrew and Arabic, they meet in certain things. Because Iyal means children and abna means children. But abna is about the children, which is like what we use, not in a metaphorical way, which means a children or sons or etc. But Iyal means, children of God means as a myth, as in a metaphorical way. You understand? So these things have been used in the past. So Islam wanted to demolish this and after the Prophet was said that to leave all of the, these traces in order not to misquote Allah in a way or another that includes as well to prostrating to an individuals. Because in the past, we know, for example, the brothers of Joseph, they prostrated to their brother uh, and it was something that was known. That amongst the you know to prostrate to someone. Yeah. yeah. So when Islam came, when the, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said that demolish these things, all things that could lead to shirk and associate with Allah, they cut them. So there is no way someone could prostrate to someone or to talk about God in a way that it could be could be misquoted. So that's the thing which which is established in Islam. And adding to you because you mentioned earlier because they're not in line with the Quran. Actually, they are not in line with the Old Testament. For example, the, all the things about Jesus, what you said. It's not in line with that. For example, the decree, yeah. the, 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 the creed of the Old Testament is not in line with it. <coughs> Even though the Old Testament is not a resource for us, it's not something that a primary yeah. resource for they, us, but yet it's not good. in line with it. Adding mm. to this that we don't have historical evidence. For example, when Jesus, for example, when he said, let it be not my, when he was on the, on, yeah. on the crucifixion. The of my father, yeah. uh, who said that? He has said this. Tell me the eyewitness that he had heard him. Who said, I hear Jesus when he was on the cross said that. No one knows. So it was something was later on quote and they said it was ascribed to him. So the problem is, so since we don't have this, the middle, you know, uh, uh, father, father, why have you forsaken me, for example. Huh? So this thing, who, who caught him? Who was there to hear him? He has said that. And then what you introduce in Christianity, you introduce a, a, a vague names like John, for example, who no one knows who's John. <laughs> this person they said he receives by the way because even amongst christian scholars sure. they don't know even that who's exactly. john who's this yeah and they say he has said that how we know that he has said it who's john yeah. firstly and how when he was since john he has the one who copied from mark mark they didn't say what john has said all of these things gives you in a in a big problem actually to know you there's, know about the bible yeah, yeah, just to use it as a as the primary source yeah for, avery for, for, i'm just going to give you two minutes just to, for your film because we need to wrap up the donations after ramadan you can call in again but yeah i'm going to give you two minutes to just uh, answer so hope you have your sure. thank you uh, yeah. thanks ali i appreciate it so there, there was a lot said john john uh the apostle and a couple of women were actually at the foot of the cross in within hearing distance of jesus so they could have definitely heard jesus say what he said on the cross and continued the tradition um, you, you said that the the what we see uh, in the New Testament, the creed in the New Testament doesn't match the old, but it but it does. When you go to the Torah in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse six, Moses says that Yahweh is our father who created us. 
In Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 1, he says, God says, for talking to Israel, you are the children of the Most High God. And so you, uh, Isaiah chapter 63, uh, Isaiah chapter 61, uh, God is the Father. Malachi chapter 3, uh, God is the Father. So all throughout the Old Testament, you see that God is seen as the Heavenly Father. That's how he introduces himself. That's what he's known as. And it continues throughout all the way up until Jesus' time where he acknowledges that God is the heavenly father and, to, and, and, and says, this is how you should pray. Father in heaven, holy is your name. So this is a consistency that we see with the prophets all the way up until Jesus. And then we see this disconnect with Islam where, you know, uh, God is not the father. He's far above that. That's blasphemous. And so you shouldn't even think about it. Like the heavens, the earth, the, the mountains crumble and quake at the thought of Allah being a father and having a son, right? You can only be a master. He can only be your master and you a slave. So I, I, I just want to say thank you guys for letting me come on just to, just to land with this. Um, cause I, I will hopefully we could continue with the subject, but yes, yeah, if, 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 if the new Testament is unreliable, which like if, even if I granted this, like, cause this is yeah. not, that's not like a, you know, important to the subject. The new Testament was quoted to me for points that prove that Jesus is a Muslim. So I'm just using those same verses that yeah. you guys quoted to show how actually it points that it shows that he's not a Muslim. That's, that's, that was my thing. He, he would, he would, even if we went with your argument, he will still be a Muslim, but because him saying that, but even if we went with the argument, we're saying we don't see your text as reliable. Uh, we don't see it as an offer. We're saying if we was to base on your text, we will say that. And like, just to wrap on, wrap up on this. Yeah, I, wait, point. there's one question, yeah. Ali. I don't, I don't mean to cut you off. I'm so sorry. But I did want to ask you, I forgot to do this. So, yeah. so can you be a Muslim? Can you be a Muslim and say that Allah is, is your father and you're his son? Can you, you be a can, Muslim? But you can, but you'll, you'll be an innovation. No, no, it'll be an innovation. No, no. Like, it won't okay. take out the something. It'll be an innovation. But it depends on what you mean by that. Exactly. No, no, what but, do you mean by that? No, okay. If they believe, you if they because believe because that Allah is... I want to make something yeah. clear because there's something, there's an elephant in the room that we're missing. Yes. Because you just quoted to us verses from the Old Testament to show a level of coherency between the Old Testament and the New Testament. Oh, no, there isn't. But the reality of the matter is even you in your theology... I'll, let me ask you a simple question. Those passages that you quoted that refer mm. to others as children of God, do you believe mm. they're children of God like Jesus? No. Uh, no, Jesus is the begotten son. That's a different thing. Uh, uh, oh, see. Begotten. See, you believe no, he's no, begotten? No, but listen, listen. Yeah. You, see, you see the discrepancy here. So th there's a discrepancy here even in you. So you should not be using those verses as reference to show a level of connection between them and Jesus. What's the discrepancy? In the in their childhood, no, because you're saying Jesus is begotten, they're not begotten, so no, they're mm. not the same. So you differentiate right. between. Them. No, 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 only so that. Yeah, yeah, no, no only that. You know, no, only that. Just a quick thing. Sorry, Avery. Those people, the children of Israel, if they call the father the father, are are they the same father like Jesus's father, or are they different? You said no. He said just so. So you see, you see, you see, when Jesus calls the father, you're saying it's different, and when the father calls him son, he's a different son. But when it's the children of Israel, their sonship is different to them calling them the father. But with uh, Jesus, it's a whole different category. You're, you're giving exceptions. Yeah. You're saying, no, with Jesus, it's specific. When it says father, it's his yeah. actual father or literal begotten. And when it says the son, it's the actual son. But when it comes to the others, like um, Moses, uh, Moses, Moses, so many David, other people. David so all we're saying is this, just to add on, because there's one thing you said, I just want to add on. You said that the, the Islam came and distorted the whole thing. Very simple question. All the prophets that came from Adam, from Adam to Moses, did any of them believe in the Trinity? I would say yes. Okay, say can you bring me, a single, bring me a single evidence? Because mm. you're, you're now confronting the Jews and the Muslims. So please mm. tell me, because we say the prophet Muhammad was in line with all the prophets that came. He said, yeah. worship God alone. There is nothing like him. Adam yeah. and all the prophets from day dot were consistent in the message of the prophet Muhammad. Only yeah. your Jesus, even your Jesus in the Bible doesn't even say that. So what evidence do you have to say that Islam came with something new, that all the prophets were, they had the Trinity, mm. the Holy Spirit, the Son, but the, the, uh, Islam came with the prophet Muhammad and said, no, 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 no more son. Yeah. Do you have evidence to prove that these prophets before Jesus believed in the Trinity? <laughs> just, one, just one last yeah. question. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So... Yes. So it's it's not just that it's the, there's the disconnect with God being the Father, but yes, within the essence of God, you know, uh, you know, Islam has a so, sort of a Unitarian view of God, like he's only a singular person. While Mo, right. let's say Moses, for example, because you, I want to be specific to what you asked. Moses, yeah. who wrote the Torah, he taught that God was multi-personal in his essence. He taught that God is the Father, 
in Deuteronomy 32, 6. He taught that yeah. um, Yahweh is also the, you have the messenger, the Malach Yahweh, who's the messenger of yeah. Yahweh, who is also Yahweh and divine, yet he's distinct from the Father. And then Moses taught, yeah, that's, that's Exodus good. 3, by the way. That's Exodus 3. And then Moses so, taught so, so, in Genesis 1, okay. you have the Spirit of God. So you got this, you have okay, one second. Father, which one, yeah, which Jews believe, which Jews believe that these are different essences of God? Yeah. Uh, which uh, Jew, which rabbi, which yeah. rabbi quote me one rabbi that mm -hmm. believes that Moses believed that this one God that they believe in with us, by the way, the Jews and the Muslims, we have very, very, very similar. There's some things that they have about God slept and rested. But what I'm saying is Christians are the only ones that's odd. So can you tell me a single rabbi that said that Moses and all the other prophets before believed in different essences of God the way you guys do. Okay, so just, just a quick correction. It's not different essences, it's different persons, right? Different hypostases. Okay, different persons. Yeah. What, the different so, persons, okay. Yeah. Tell me a single rabbi that believed yeah. this. Single Jewish yeah. person. Yeah, I got you. So have you heard of Daniel Boyer? No. Okay, so or so you got Daniel Boyer and you got Benjamin yeah. Summer. These are Jewish scholars. Jewish. They're not, these and, are, these okay, are, Jewish scholars yeah. who are Jewish yeah. that yeah, believe what? Jewish. That that believe that the Trinity is actually in line with Judaism. It's a it's a Jewish belief. One second. Let me let me let me just get I'll this right. I'll, I'll, so I'll these one second. There are Jewish people. It's like yeah. me saying there are Muslims who believe that Trinity is in line with Islam. I'm a disbeliever. No, that's not. So How can Jew I be a Muslim? How can yeah. I be a Muslim and say the Trinity is in line with Islam? Plus, plus you're, a Muslim, blood, you're a Muslim is not your bloodline. Blood you're you're Jew by your blood. Not, oh no! One second. You're saying okay. You're saying the ethnically Jew. Yes. Oh, I'm talking about religiously Jew. I'm talking. Not, I'm saying rabbi. Jewish. I'm saying rabbi. No, no, I'm saying rabbi. Yeah. No, they don't they need believe to be a Christian. They believe in Jews. No, Ali, no, no, no. no, no, no. One second. I'm saying a Jew who follows Judaism and the Mosaic yeah. law, who believes, yeah. who believes that yeah. God has different is per different persons. Different persons. Yeah. Daniel Boyer, Jew. Benjamin Summer, Alan Segal. These are not Christians. Okay. No, these are not Christians. Okay. What we're gonna do is this is this is online. I know you're recording this. I'm going to I'm check not. it. And if what you're saying, okay, no problem. I'm going to check. I'm going to check this uh, information. Who's, who's, and who's if what you're saying is not true, you're being intellectually dishonest because no yeah. Jew that I've come across, they outright reject that God has persons, essence. Suppose, they, suppose, they, they don't, uh, they don't even listen, mention suppose, his name. Suppose, of, listen, suppose yeah, it is. Can, I, can I give you a quote from Benjamin Summer? None of this makes a difference for us in listen, reality, please. to be honest with you. Yeah. Huh? yeah. No, it doesn't, doesn't, but but I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is it, it, even it said even I know it doesn't matter, but I know Judaism in Ju there's no way they believe this. The persons and the essence, me, none of them. It goes against their religion. Reference? Can I give you a reference, Ali? Just really quick. Yes. So remember, yes. Benjamin Summers is one of the names I mentioned. If you go yes. to his book, it's called Bodies of God. Bodies of God. Okay. He okay. gives yeah. like so. If you go to his book, look up his quote. What he talks about the Trinity, uh, yeah. the glory of God. He he breaks that stuff down, and he breaks down okay. how. You know, uh, the, the Trinity or God having multiple persons is not a non Jewish belief. What do you mean by person? What's his name? Or like, you know, the hypostases, like within the substance and essence of God, there are there's a dis, there, there are distinct hypostases or persons, Father, Son, what, what? Holy Spirit, or what they would say is they would say you have uh, Yah you have Yahweh, you have his, yeah, you have Yahweh, you have his <laughs> word and his spirit. So that which contradicts Wait, God is not a body. So, so one I want second. to find out who this is. Just one second. Yeah. Who is who is who is this person? What's his name? Uh, oh, so this one is Benjamin Summer that I'm quoting. I'm talking about. And, and what's his book? Bodies of God. Okay. What he is? What this man? He's a biblical scholar. Yeah, he's a Jew. Okay. Okay. We're, we're checking. Okay. So when you say different bodies, I just want to understand. So no, he, they say he has, just mm -hmm. repeat again, is the body? Uh, one no, second. So, what you said? The spirit? So yeah. his, his, book, his book is called Bodies of God. Um, and he talks about, he goes, you know, kind of in detail of how there, you know, it's That's not foreign to Jewish belief that there is, you know, mo a multiplicity within the unity of, of Yahweh's essence. So, so he gives, so he... He's an He's an, he's an academic. Okay, but what I'm saying he's is, so he, gives, rabbi, by the way. so he gives divinity to these three essences. He's not a rabbi. And, uh, he, he's not a rabbi. He, he, he's, he's a professor. If he's a Jew, he's, he's a Jewish he's a professor. professor. You understand? Okay, I'm look, there are I, Jews professors who are atheists. Yes. It doesn't but matter. He's, not atheist. he's, a, he's in Judaism. I know, I know, but I'm saying there are Jewish rabbi who are Jewish yeah. uh, people who are atheists. It doesn't matter. I'm, we, exactly. we ask you, he yeah. asks you a specific thing. A is rabbi. there a Jew rabbi? Who said this? Who That's his this. question. Yeah, see, I, I not think a professor. 
Yeah. There are Jewish professors who I know. Yeah. They are they are atheists. They're, they're, no, look, they're look, Jews, the reason, the reason I asked that, no, no, the reason <laughs> I asked that is because I know the rabbis go to his seminary, guys. Like they no, 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 come on, come on. It doesn't on. matter. Avery, Avery, yeah. Avery. Let me tell you something. I know Muslims who come and say some mad stuff about Allah. Yeah, mm -hmm. just because he has a title. Yeah, yeah many academics. academics. They say stuff like you know uh, some crazy God stuff. God is yeah? not in this world. God is not in this world. The world. The point. The reason. The reason I'm saying this. The reason I'm saying yeah. this, I know very well. I've spoken to so many Jewish people, it's rabbis who come to the park, speakers corner. You know very well, yeah? Uh, yeah? You know very well. None of them ever believe this. I know very fundamentally that none of them have ever believed that the prophets, this is why I asked you, mm. the message of the Adam and all the other prophets that came before were in line with the Prophet Muhammad's message that God is one. That's why the Jews not do not believe in you. It's not a body. And he's not a body. He's not, do you get it? So that's why... In, the Prophet Muhammad's message was in line with all the other prophets that came. It's only mm -hmm. Christianity. That's the reason why the Jews and the Muslims, they'll agree on one thing, that we do not believe God is the creation. And that's mm -hmm. why we differ. But look, Avery, thank you very much. I know yeah. it's going to go online. And we just recently yeah, found out, you know, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, yeah, yeah you've done videos, etc. Look, it's totally fine. I know you're yeah. recording. It's totally fine. All I'm just saying is, you can join us after Ramadan because we're doing a fundraiser. For sure, uh, yeah. But yeah, I, I appreciate it. Can I, can I say thank you, you as well? Because... because, because it's like what yeah, they say, it's not a flesh, like us as a human being yeah. with a flesh and things. Yes, we've got, I've got, I've got, I've got 90 minutes. minutes. I just want to say thank you to all three of you guys. You guys were respectful. You let me talk. Thank you for engaging. Appreciate you guys for letting me on. I'll, okay. I'll definitely we need, be back. We need something sure. from you. We need something from you. What's your what name? You need from me? Every. Listen, yes. what works from you? Listen, every. Tell the people to donate towards this project. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah, say to the people. Because it's something which is good, yeah? Tell the people <laughs> to donate towards this project because this project teaches people how to pray. They prostrate like Jesus. How do you have Jesus prostrate to God? We do the same thing, the same as the old brother prophet. Yeah, Tell the people, you know, since you, it, we allowed you, we, we didn't nah, allow nah. no one like you with the, with the time. So at least in, in return, <laughs> we expect from nah, you respectfully nah. to tell the people to donate towards. Will you do that? Nah, one, second. one second. Will you do that? Uh, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll tell them to, 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 to donate to whoever is giving the gospel and spreading the message of Jesus. No, not the gospel. I'm not talking about the gospel. You know, do the Injil, no, no, the Injil. No, no, the Injil, yes, but not the, but not that, but not the Bible. Yeah, the no, we're, true. yeah, yeah, we're just, we're which just, is lost, unfortunately. Yeah, we're, we're, we're messing around, we're messing around. But thank you, Avery, it was a pleasure. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Take care, it. thanks, okay. guys.